<clears throat> hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, I've been chatting with a friend of mine about um, his wife, actually. That sounds weird, but um, but she's struggling right now with her weight and with like getting on track with her fitness and nutrition and stuff. Um, and they're both like, you know, really fit, really active, you know, sports history, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and he's getting really, he's feeling really frustrated because he loves her so much. And it's, you know, it's really hard to watch someone that you love struggle with, um, with like taking care of themselves, right? Like that's so hard. It's, it's as hard to watch that as it is, I think, to watch someone that you love like be abused or be in a job that doesn't treat them well. Um, you know, when you're watching someone treat themselves badly, <laughs> it's really, really hard to see. So I've been thinking a lot about it and in our conversations, um, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, my, my friend is doing a lot of stuff. He's like, you know, I, I'm like, you know, trying to encourage her to like work out and be like putting together like fitness calendars and like meal plans and all of these things. And I've been thinking a lot about how this relates to what I was sharing last week where you don't like when you're struggling, when, when you're in a place where it's so hard to get moving and to take care of yourself, it's not because you don't have the right fitness program. It's not because you don't have the right meal plan. You know, when thinking back to my own experience, when I was really, really struggling a few years ago, it wasn't because I didn't know what to do. We all know what to do, right? Eat more vegetables and move your body once a day. Like we all know that, um, but so many of us don't do it or don't do it regularly. Um, and it has nothing to do with knowledge. It has nothing to do with like, you know, the plan. And it has everything to do with your own belief in yourself and in, um, in how deserving you believe you are, right? And how much you love yourself. What I have found is that when I am practicing self-love and gratitude, um, you know, when I'm meditating, when I'm, when I'm, you know, making a love list every once in a while and, and just like and af affirming myself and, and thinking about my great, the things that I love about myself, that's when it's easier to take care of myself. That's when it's easier to go do my 25 minute workout and eat some vegetables. Um, and that has nothing to do with the plan. I have the exact same plan when I'm not practicing that sort of self-love as I do when I am. Um, so what it comes down to really is, do you believe that you, your body, your soul, your mind, your heart, do you believe that you are worthy of care? And no amount of planning or schedules or calendars is going to change that or make that make that different. Um, so my advice to my friend and my advice to you, if you're watching someone in your life really struggle to, you know, especially if you hear people saying like, oh man, I keep trying to go to the gym and then I keep quitting or man, I just wish I could stop eating donuts every day. You know, whatever it is, my advice to you is don't, don't logistic them to death, right? Like don't try to fix a, a deep internal heart issue with, by layering a schedule on top of it. The only way to fix it and help them is to just love them. Love them unconditionally, no matter what. Con you know, help them prove, like prove to them that they are lovable, that they are worthy of love and they are worthy of care and they are worthy of being taken care of. Because that's what the problem is. The problem isn't I have the wrong fitness program or I don't have the right gym membership. Um, that's not the problem. The problem is whether or not I believe that I deserve that, that I deserve to live in a healthy body, that I deserve to have energy, that I deserve to feel great about myself. If I don't believe that, if I don't have that sense of self-deserving, then nothing is going to fix it for me. And actually... <clears throat> My husband has never done this, thankfully, but if I had a husband who could just kept giving me new workout calendars and like trying to make me go to the gym and like trying to give me more meal plans, it, that, that is actually the opposite of what I would need, I think. My, what I would need is I need to know that he loves me no matter what. I need to know that I'm, I am inherently lovable, whether or not I'm going to the gym, whether or not I'm eating vegetables, right? No matter what I look like aesthetically, 
Um, I need to believe that I am lovable. That's what's going to fix it. And once I believe that, and once the people who are around me, who love me, help prove that I'm lovable, that I deserve love, then I can start to fix it. Then I can start to love myself and put that energy into taking care of myself. It's not a logistical problem, right? It's not a problem of schedules or structures or any of that stuff. You know, having a structure helps, I'm not gonna lie. Like for me, having a workout calendar fixes a lot of problems in my life. But if I don't believe that I deserve to live in a healthy body that is strong and fit and lean, I'm never gonna do a workout no matter what kind of calendar I have. But if I believe it, if I believe in my self-worth, if I believe that I deserve to live that, that energetic, fit, happy life, then I'm going to do it. I'm going to take those action steps. So whatever that looks like for you, whatever your love language is, if there's someone in your life who's really struggling, um, let them know and help them believe that they're inherently lovable, that they don't have to do anything different than what they're doing right now for you to love them. That's, that's where it is. And once they believe that they are deserving of love no matter what, then they can start to love themselves enough to do those things, to lose the weight, to lower the cholesterol, to change the diet, to get off the antidepressants, to fix their, their diabetic blood pressure or blood, blood sugar levels. Um, but if they don't believe that they're lovable no matter what, they're never going to do it or it's going to be a roller coaster. So that's where I'm coming from today. I've been thinking about it a lot. Um, love the people in your life. Love them unconditionally no matter what. Prove to them that they're lovable. And that's the way that I think that we all can li live a healthier, happier, more productive life. Cheers to that. Bye.